Welcome back to your weekly cybersecurity news roundup. I'm Ali Diamond, and this is ThreatWire. Once again, OpenAI is doing that thing where they decide to enter a market and potentially kill off a bunch of aspiring startups. OpenAI has announced their new security tool called Aardvark. It is described as a, quote, agentic security researcher powered by GPT-5. According to OpenAI, it monitors the code base, analyzes changes to the code base, and uses the changes to find vulnerabilities. Aardvark works by doing analysis of code changes and commit scanning and creates threat models for the existing code base. Vulnerabilities found will automatically be tested in an isolated sandbox to confirm the finding, and then a patch will be suggested using Codex to be approved by a human review. Instead, it uses LLM-powered reasoning and tool use to understand code behavior and identify vulnerabilities. Aardvark looks for bugs as a human security researcher might, by reading code, analyzing it, writing and running tests, using tools, and more. OpenAI says they have been using the Aardvark tool in practice and in testing of their own code base for several months. In addition, they've used the Aardvark tool to find and disclose vulnerability in open source projects, of which 10 have received CVE identifiers. Which exact open source projects they've been used against have not been disclosed. In addition, Aardvark found 92% of the known vulnerabilities in their benchmark testing. Personally, this sounds very similar to a SAS tool. So I asked ChatGPT how Aardvark differs from existing SAS tools, and this is the reply I got. While it performs functions that overlap with SAS, code scanning, vulnerability discovery, scanning commits, it goes beyond classical SAS by being autonomous, reasoning like a security researcher, validating exploitability, and generating patches features not typical of standard SAS tools. So ChatGPT says Aardvark is not like other girls, but what do you think? Google reported that 95 to 99% of web navigations that happen on the Google Chrome browser use HTTPS. HTTPS should be the expected norm when doing secure web browsing, but apparently it's not. The security team at Google released a blog post announcing that Chrome will finally begin to default to using HTTP connections first, known as the enabling of the, quote, always use secure connections feature of Chrome. The Chrome browser has offered the choice of going with HTTPS first when browsing as a feature since 2022. When it was first introduced, it was an opt-in feature. With this announcement, it will be enabled by default. When will this happen? According to the blog post, it will occur with the release of Chrome 154 in October of 2026. Yes, a literal year from now. I'm a bit confused and would love to have some discussion in the comments. Why do you think it's going to take Chrome an entire year to enable this feature? Why hasn't this been the de facto since it was announced? As an internet user, how often do you run into non-HTTPS websites? I'm genuinely curious, so please let me know in the comments. AWS had one of its largest outages in history, so Azure said, hey, it's my turn. On October 29th, 2025, Azure had an eight-hour outage that took down a large chunk of Microsoft services. This comes less than a week after the major AWS outage that took down a large chunk of the internet. The outage affected several Azure-dependent services as well as Microsoft 365 services. An inadvertent tenant configuration change within the Azure Front Door, or AFD, triggered a widespread service disruption affecting both Microsoft services and customer applications dependent on AFD for global content delivery. The change introduced an invalid or inconsistent configuration state that caused a significant number of AFD nodes to fail to load properly, leading to increased latencies, timeouts, and connection errors for downstream services. According to the status page, Azure is still performing their retrospective on how this outage happened, but for now, Azure is back up and running. Thank you so much for watching Threatwire for the week of November 3rd, 2025. If you enjoyed this show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. I'm still picking a date for my anniversary stream, but if you want to suggest days that work for you, please let me know in the comments so I can plan better. I'm Allie Diamond. You can find me everywhere online at Ending with Allie. And remember, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.